So I know y'all be seeing these 2K community template builds that they be putting on here from creators in the 2K community. I've been seeing these, but I've been telling myself I'm not going to try one of these. But here I am getting bored. I've been playing the game a lot more. I'm like level 30. I've been getting my rep trying to get that Superstar 2, Starter 2, whatever you want to call it. And I was like, you know what? I want to make a 7 foot one or a 7 footer build, but I want to try out a 2K community build. So I decided to come to these templates and Joey 2K. That is his YouTube. If you want to check his YouTube out? Shout out to him. He decided to make a build called a mid range threat, which is 7 foot 1, 236 pounds, and 7 foot 9 inch wingspan. You feel what I'm saying? This build, I have made this build and I decided to use it in the wreck. And I would say it is a really, really complete build. And I'm going to go deep diving into some certain highlights from one game where I was had to carry some randoms because I'd be playing wreck with randoms on my Switch, which is also the same name as my. YouTube name LeVar so go check out the twitch if you want to you feel what I'm saying but we're gonna jump right into this build I didn't adjust it at all I just used this build and then I upgraded it and I'm getting badges on now we're working on it and we're gonna get right into this highlight so I can show y'all how good this build is now before I get into it make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that sub button for me leave a comment at the end of this video if you want to use this build if you have any tweaks you would say you this build should have or anything of the sort I don't mind, I'm open to all your opinions, but let's get into this video, you feel me? Now, before I even get into the positives, let me shout out this one negative here. I got an 86 pass accuracy, goal break started, and I literally could not throw the ball down sometimes, and it's ridiculous. Just like I did right there. It's ridiculous, and I'm tired of it. I have an 86 pass, I should be able to make my outlet passes, especially if it's wide open. But here I am in the corner getting the ball, I'm throwing the pass, and I'm dropping it down low to the... AI who just cut my passes are fast and a half court setting. I give them that. I give the build that. You feel what I'm saying? But sometimes I should not be throwing out of bounds. That's just ridiculous. But look at me backing down this other center, this Jokic looking dude, and then I'm dying somebody to my left and he gets the break. You feel me? So he's just breaking. My passing is fast. I do like the 86 pass because in half court settings, it is kind of quick. And as you can see right there on the outlet, it is quick there too. Yeah, I didn't throw it out of bounds. Surprise, surprise. I got silver diamond too as well in this build. And if I'm passing you the ball and you wide open and you're missing, then what the hell are you doing? You should not be missing wide open. Like, I'm a big man with, with diamond and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, the pass on this build, pretty much, it's, 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 it's good. It has some good aspects, but on the outlets is where it really, really throws me off the most. Like, I, thought, I, I had a game last night when I was streaming, and I got about four turnovers from throwing the ball out in one game. First of all, that, that never happened to me with this build. Most of the time, my outlet passes are not that terrible like that. Majority of the time, I make my outlet passes. But all in all, I would say the passing on this build, this mid-range threat from this 2K community build is pretty nice, pretty nice. The shooting... I got decent shooting. I could pop a mid range just like right there. I could do a mid range fadeaway. I could do a three point phase. I haven't really did it that much because I haven't found a good. I haven't found good pull up animations and things like that for this seven foot one. Y'all know I'm all about the small bigs. On my small bigs, I be using like like basically forwards and guards type of pull ups and fadeaways and hop jumpers and all of that stuff. Seven foot one is all a whole bunch of slow animations. By the way, speaking of slower, my speed on this center, it's a little slow, but honestly, I think it feels more slow for me because I have input delay. And because of my input delay, oh, let me stop and pop that three on the break real quick. I don't even know if that was the break. That might have just been bringing the ball up the court. But anyways, I literally have a lot of input delay. Oh, here go, you pop it another three right here from the corner. The shooting is perfect. I love the shooting on this build. Shooting is perfectly fine. I could pop me a three. I could pop me a midi. I could do fades. I could do all of that good stuff. And when I get my post fade, you know, or whatever that badge is called, when I get it to go, man, I'm really go be spamming post fade I don't care. You feel me? The free throw is pretty decent. I don't know. Maybe this game they made free throws harder because I know last game, the past few two Ks, you didn't have to have a high, high free throw to grade. Like I remember, I dropped the video for two K twenty three about that. And it was like, you don't even need a high uh, free throw for real, for real. And look at me popping another three, by the way. Another three-pointer, by the way. You don't even need a high three, uh, free throw, but I guess in this game you do. Now, that should have been a block right there. You might want to rewind that if you missed it, but that should have been a damn block right there. I don't care what nobody say. The blocking, I would say the blocking on this build is pretty decent. Pretty it's better than I thought it would be. Y'all know the blocking ends at 87. Most of my builds that I normally make 
have like a 92 so I can get gold anchor. But this only gets silver anchor. So far, it's been pretty decent for me. I feel like I've been fooling myself going for 92 block all year long. Oh, look at me with the steel. I got a 60 steel. As you can see, I just got that tip pass. And we got the break. And we got the wide open three. So we down two right now, by the way. By the way, I'm playing with randoms again. Like I said, I play wreck with randoms on stream on my Twitch. Look at me getting getting down there for that board. Getting down and dirty. Now, my close shot is not high. It's not high. At least right now, I don't have it upgraded all the way. I think it maxes out at 71. But right here in this clip, in this game, I think I have like a 50-something on my close shot. But it is still possible to green because people don't understand the mechanisms of defense in this game. Hand down, man down is a thing in this game. If you do not have a hand up, it will not be contested, bro. You got to have a hand up. A lot of these centers down low do not be having a hand up. So I get a lot of close shots and I can green them, you feel me? Um, Rebounding. Rebounding is pretty good. Our, our offensive rebounds, I do miss some, and it's because I have a lower offensive rebounders, but that's one sacrifice I'm not used to making, having a low offensive or defensive rebound. I use, I like both of mine high, you feel me? I like to be snagging every rebound, offensively and defensively, but I get tons of rebounds defensively. I still get offensive rebounds, because if you're good at the game, you know what you're doing. You're going to get your offensive rebounds, especially if you're a compy center, you feel me? I just so happen to notice that I might miss some here and there. But it's all good because I still end the game with a ton of rebounds. Look at me shooting another three in that man's face. He cannot step up to me. Um, as far as finishing, now I'm working on the standing dunk meter. I'm going to drop a video about that too if y'all want to see a standing dunk meter video. But I can green standing dunks with the meter and the paint because I have a high standing dunk on this build. This build also gets gold rise up. Gold rise up. It, it gets like a bronze poster riser, so you might not get contacts all the time. But it's all good though because... Even with rise up, you still have a likelier chance. I don't even know if that's a word. Like a more likely chance to get a standing dunk by using the dunk meter. You feel me? Um, as far as defense, well, I touched on defense already. Physical, I touched on strength. I don't really get body. My strength is perfectly fine for me. It may not be what people recommend, but that's also a risk I decided to take. I feel like if you're really good at the game, you can use pretty much whatever build. And you can succeed with that build. Like, there's no such thing as a singular best build, in my opinion, or a meta build. You feel me? I feel like anybody could use a build as long as it's not a build with terrible attributes and it don't got, and it's a build that got required badges you need to be good at the game. Then, you know what I'm saying? Look at me getting a stop right there. They thought they was going to get that. We're down four points, by the way. And. I'm basically having to do a lot for my team offensively and defensively, but I can't do everything because I'm the damn center. So look at the AI sh shooting up that stupid three, and I'm literally, I'm literally calling for the ball. I got Mamba mentality. I'm shooting like five for six from three. My teammates not giving me the ball. The AI not giving me the ball. These, these dudes just don't want to win. That's the pains of playing Rekko Random. Let me know if y'all want to do Y'all want to see a, some commentary, some Rekko Random commentary, you feel me? Cause I done had some competitive games with these randoms in this rack, man. I like the rack randoms thing, though. Even though it's stressful for me, I still like it, though. You feel me? But to wrap this up, all in all, all in all, I can say this build do not get baby. You can get rebounds, offensive and defensive. You can get stops in the paint. You can get contests in the paint. You can get blocks in the paint. As long as you are doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're being as perfect as you can on defense. You know what I'm saying? Passing is good in the half court setting. It's good on the outlets when it works. When it works, because there's plenty of times on outlets where it is not going to work. And it's really frustrating because I have been advocating for not needing an 86 pass accuracy as a big man. And everybody's been saying, oh, you should use 86 pass, 86 pass, gold break starter, da 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 da, dime or this, da 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 da. What is, sometimes it makes me mad because it's like, bro, I got 86 pass, I'm launching the ball out of bounds, bro. Like, why, why, why am I not making near-perfect passes, bro? What do I have to have my pass accuracy on to have an open outlet get to the man I'm trying to throw it to? The ball should not be going nowhere near out of bounds, bro. It shouldn't even be leaning him out of bounds. He shouldn't even be about to fall out of bounds. He shouldn't even be looking out of bounds. Out of bounds shouldn't even be a thought. Because I got an 86 pass, and I got, the, I, got the, I got the badges to make my passes. You feel me? Um, speed is not too bad. It's pretty fine. It's pretty fine. Strength is good. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much a good build. I would recommend this build. Um, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you have it. And if you want me to use more 2K Community Creator builds and showcase it for y'all, I could do that for y'all. Let me know in the comments what you think. 
I'll see you on the next video. I'm out, bro. Peace.